guys, it's Heather here from Grace on Broadway. I'm actually with you guys from my home. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Bells and Bow Tour and some other stuff. My friend Pam was supposed to be with you guys today, but she unfortunately has no internet. So here I am. Hi, I see at least one person on, so I know we're all here. So I ran around my house and I, I always keep these extra boxes around and I use them for staging. I use them for testing some stuff. Hey, Fiona. And right now I figured I could show you guys how you could create maybe like a quick staging item or something. So this is a cute little box I found in my basement when I found out we were going live. So I'm gonna pretend that we were in a pinch and I needed a great staging item and I only had the paint that was on me and this is what I found. So. It is actually plastic. Let's see. We always have um, boxes around. It's just something that I take and keep. I am outside, so you might hear some of the road. Sorry. I actually have family over, and they're all hanging out where I usually do my lives inside. So I brought home. I already had Bunker Hill Blue by Dixie Bell. So we're gonna paint one coat, and while we paint, I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit, because I don't know if you've heard about this conference tour that I'm on with my friends. So I just dampened my brush a little bit because it is a little hot and muggy here. I'm in Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna paint this Bunker Hill Blue because we're gonna pretend I needed a pop of color. So, November 3rd, and January 18th, my friends, me, Pam, Dustin, Fiona, Du, and Brandy are all going to be in New Jersey. And in January, we're gonna be in Atlanta in Conyers. And we are gonna be teaching you guys all the things about this industry. We have some amazing sponsors and you're gonna get some amazing products and some awesome instructions. Hey, Dustin. So, during that conference, you're gonna to get to learn how to do ombres. You're gonna to get to learn how to, we're gonna stencil, we're gonna paint with fabric. Oh my goodness, that's my dog. Guys, you want to see him? He's insane. He thinks we're out here to play with him. So, I'm going to throw the ball so he stops. Whoop. We're going to throw it that way, and hopefully my husband takes the dog inside. Because otherwise he's going to continue to bark. My kid must have let him out. Sorry guys, he's a big barky chocolate lab. Do any of you guys have doggies? I love him. So anyway, yeah, the conference. So we're gonna be doing fabric painting, stenciling, ombre. You're gonna get to meet all of us. We're gonna do some blending. We're gonna do some projects. All the projects are gonna be done hands-on by you guys and you're going to get to take them home and if you fly in for the conference no worries we're also going to offer shipping options so we can ship all the stuff you make so that you don't have to worry about bringing it on your flight I'm just making this a base coat of Bunker Hill Blue because it's super pretty and I thought a pop of color might be fun and in my mind I'm kind of showing you how you can create a quick staging item if you needed a pop of color and all you had was a wood box. So, this is plastic. I did not paint it with slick stick because it's a decorative item. It's not going, it's not gonna get all beat up. We're not gonna do anything crazy to it. I probably wouldn't seal it either. Dixie Bell self cures, so you don't need to have a sealer every single time. To be honest, I painted my kitchen cabinets four years ago. 
they are still 100% fine. And I pulled that great trick of saying, oh, well, these are my cabinets. They're not a customer's. So I'm just going to get them to where they're okay. And then I'll come back when I have time and finish it. Guess what, guys? I never had time to come back and finish them. So they are still not sealed. They are still very much how I left them when I said I'll come back to them. Hey, Joe. So this is my cute little box. Bunker Hill Blue. It's a plastic box. We want to add some character to it to make it interesting for staging. Maybe I'll use it in one of my staging pictures and we'll make it a contest on who can find it. You're attending the conference in New Jersey. Yes, I'm so excited, Bridget. Do you need to bring any tools? No, you need to bring nothing. That's the best part. So all you need to bring is clothes you don't mind painting in because we're going to paint all day. That's the point. Like it's not a conference where you're going to just sit there and watch us paint like you're going to do the painting. So just make sure that whatever you wear, you don't mind getting paint on it or bring an apron. Um, if you have a favorite brush, you can bring it. Like we're not going to tell you not to. I know how it is to have a favorite, but it's not necessary because we will be providing everything you need. And not only will you get everything you need, you're going to get an awesome swag bag full of stuff from all of our sponsors, full of stuff from us and from some of our swag bag sponsors. So you're going to get your project stuff plus, 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 plus to take home. It's going to be awesome. I'm so glad you're coming. So some of our sponsors are D. Lawless Hardware, Dixie Bell Paint, Surf Prep, Redesign with Prima, we have Sinopoly. I just found out this weekend that um, Would You Bend Molds from the UK, they're going to be giving you some goodies in your swag bag. So lots of swag bag stuff going on. All right, so since I'm outside and it's hot and humid, my paint is drying a little bit faster than it would in my store, which is why I kind of made sure I dampened my brush and I'm going back and just double checking it because it is drying a little bit faster since we're outside. And that's something you also want to take into account when you're painting is where are you, right? Like, are you underneath a fan? Are you underneath a blowing air conditioner? Are you outside? Is it warm? Is it muggy? Like these things, they do things to our paint sometimes. So right now, all it's doing is having it dry a little bit faster. So we just want to double check it and kind of make sure we have everything where we want it. You know, so when it dries. But it's also going to help us out because we're live and now it's going to be nice and dry for us. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side. I pulled out the drawer, so I'll do that. Again, this is not wood. It is plastic. And the color I'm using is Bunker Hill Blue. There we go. And I cleaned it before I went live because that's the most important part because you want to make sure that your pieces are clean for good adhesion. But we don't need to sand this one back. And I'm just showing that if I were in a pinch and I needed something for staging, you don't always have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Or what I like to do is I keep a bunch of these around and then I paint them to the color that I kind of need. Because it'll take me five seconds to make it cute and then I could pop it on whatever dresser and just move right along. And I don't need to go buy something just for that. Because staging your pieces, guys, it's like super important. And you don't need to be the world's best photographer. You don't even need to be the world's best stager. But how you present yourself and your items 100% helps how they sell. Okay. You want people to see your items and think, I want my house to look that way, right? I could totally see that in my living room. I could see that in my kitchen or in my bedroom or whatever you're trying to say. You want to get that point across to people. Hey, Pam. 
Okay. So now I painted Bunker Hill blue. We're gonna let that dry. It's just about ready because it, it's warm and I'm in the sun. And then we are going to dry brush French linen to kind of add like just a smidge of texture and make it a little bit more interesting, right? So this is one of Dixie Belle's brand new colors. I actually just restocked all of my locations with all the new stuff today. And this color is so gorgeous. And this is actually the first time I get to play with it, which makes me really happy. And the reason I had it is because I was running around stocking shelves today, so it really worked out. Um, so for anyone who's on, I have this plastic box. It is Bunker Hill Blue, but with the sun for some reason, that does not look quite, there we go. There's my little box. All sorts of fun details. This is like a vintage box. It is plastic. See, just that old plastic. I'm sure some or some, someone will tell me that this was worth some kind of millions of dollars, whatever. I needed a box to stage, so this is what we're doing. So I cleaned it. Theoretically, I, you know, I cleaned with white lightning, wash it good, wipe it back with water. Now it's clean. Then I painted with Bunker Hill Blue. I did like one and a half coats. And what I mean when I say one and a half coats is I do one coat well, and then I kind of take whatever's left over in my paint and just kind of go over any spots I might've missed. So if you ever see my live videos and I talk, or my blogs, and I talk about like one and a half coats or two and a half coats, I kind of call doing a little dry brushing with the same color, like a half coat. I don't know if that's the official term, but that's what I call it. So. Now we're dry because, like I said, it's super hot here. And what I did is I just opened my French linen for the first time. So it has the seal that comes in. See how you get all that good paint like right on the seal? I'm gonna dry brush. So I don't need to even go dipping into my paint. That's gonna be enough to dry brush because the whole point of dry brushing is we want the least amount possible. So I'm gonna take a dry paintbrush, kind of go like this first, kind of gets out any of the old paint fibers that opens up your brush and gets it ready. And I'm gonna put like smidges of paint. There we go. You guys see, it's just like teeny tiny little balls of paint. And then we're gonna take our paper towel and we're gonna pounce it on here a couple times to where it's like barely on there. There is not much. And now that this is there but almost dry, sometimes you can test it on like your hand if you want to just see. We're just gonna go like this and get the high points. See? Look how fast that's adding. Awesome character that literally took like four seconds. I'm barely pressing down. I'm not, look, I'm doing this like while holding it in the air. So that's the other trick when you're dry brushing. You're not pressing down, it's super hard. You wanna just barely touch it with a paintbrush that just barely has paint on it. And look at how fun. Isn't that great? So this color combination, just so you guys know again, is Bunker Hill Blue with French Linen. So now I'm just going to go around my box and just dry brush. Let me see if I can kind of continue to do it this way so you guys can watch it as it goes on. So. We have a group and it's totally free and it's all of the members and instructors of the tour, all of our sponsors and any of you guys that want to go to it. It's Bells and Bow Tour Group and it's on Facebook and you can go in there and you can get all of the information. You can stay up to date. You can get to know us. If you haven't met me before virtually or in real life, 
My name is Heather again, and I own a store in Pennsylvania called Grace on Broadway. And all of my stuff is tagged up above, and so is the Bells and Bow Tour group. And I created the Bells and Bow Tour with my friend Pam Haskins because we wanted to take some of the great conferences and conventions that are available to retailers and everyone else and we wanted to bring it to the public we wanted you guys to be able to come and learn and we wanted to meet you and we want you to sit and instead of learning through a camera I want you to sit and be able to do this with me and then go Heather am I pressing too hard it's not working and then I can walk next to you and I could go no just easier on your hand just easier and I can teach you and that's the best kind of learning so right here, I, to me it looked a little stripey. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I went this way. So there's nothing here. It looks like stripes. So I'm just still taking my same brush that we did these three sides with. And I'm just kind of going at the spots that look a little too blue yet to me. And because we didn't do all of it and we dry brushed, it almost naturally shades it in. See, there's natural shading and then there's the highlights that we created. So this is what it looked like before we did the dry brushing and this is with dry brushing. Still pretty, pop of color, super fun. So again, to dry brush, you put a teeniest, tiniest bit on your brush, Oop, there it is, super tiny. I used Bunker Hill Blue as a base, and this is the brand new French linen. Then we're stomping it or stamping it onto paper towel to make it mostly go on. See, we got like those, the beads of paint off. And then with a very light hand, like light, 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 we're just going over. If you press too hard, you're gonna get more paint than you want. We just want our paintbrush that has a tiny bit of paint to touch the high points. And I put it down just a little bit to get in a couple of the low points, but we don't want full saturation. We're not painting it. We're just doing highlights and dry brushing. And the fun thing about dry brushing is say I had another color, we could do another color on top. Like all Dixie Belle paints are water-based so they can all be added to each other and layered. But I wanna keep this simple because I said in the beginning, I'm kind of acting like I was at home and needed to stage something and just needed something in this color. And then I found this little box. I keep these around for situations just like this. You'll see me paint a lot of boxes live because they're amazing. And then I can use them. Hi from Holland, that's awesome. <coughs> okay. And now we're at the drawer. So again, I'm just putting into here, teeny tiny bit, thump, 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 wiping straight across. If for some reason when you're dry brushing, you get too much on, you can sand off. And I like how it all looks different. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in because we don't want everything to look like super matchy and super the same because at least I don't because a lot of the stuff that I make in my personal style is I make things because I want them to look old and I want them to look have like a, a used look and things don't wear evenly things don't age evenly um, so if things aren't perfectly symmetrical or or perfectly matched I don't let that bother me because I think it gives it um, character. So here's our box. And I think even with talking to you guys, this took me all of 15 minutes and it's already dry by the way. So while chit chatting, it took 15 minutes, which means that if you were in a pinch and needed to stage something and you tried to do this at home, just to have something for your picture or a gift or whatever you wanted to do. This is honestly probably like a 10 minute project. 
15 minutes tops if you're not chatting. Um, but this is our box. Yay! So again, I cleaned it with white lightning prior to coming on. I painted it with Bunker Hill Blue. And then I added French linen and a dry brush technique to pull out a lot of the character. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them about any of the techniques, the colors, myself, my store, Dixie Bell, the tour, any of it. I have a few minutes where I can certainly answer some questions. Um, just to kind of recap quickly, the tour is two conferences right now, one in New Jersey on November 3rd and one in Conyers, Georgia, which is by Atlanta, and that's on um, January 18th. The instructors are myself, I'm Heather from Grace on Broadway, Pam Haskins from 44 Marketplace, Dustin Van Fleet from Dustin Van Fleet Designs, Du Dodson from Du Dodson Designs, Fiona DeBell from Fiona DeBell the Art Pro, Brandy Cullenborn from Brush by Brandy, and Chris Donna Cusson is going to be the guest in Atlanta. So you get all of us. Our sponsors are Grace, um, no, that's me. I'm not a sponsor, I'm a teacher. Um, sorry, Dixie Bell Paint, D Lawless Hardware, Redesign with Prima, Sinopoly, Surf Prep, and then um, Would You Ben's also gonna give you some stuff in the swag bags. So you're gonna get to meet owners and directors of these companies, you're gonna get to meet each other, you're gonna get to meet us, you're gonna learn a lot of great stuff. And we really just wanted to create this to be as beneficial to you guys as we can. Um, you don't have to be an experienced painter, that's the whole point to this, you can be. And you can come for the networking and come to learn, but you can also be very, very beginner. And we will teach you everything from start to finish. So. If you have any questions, I do go back in all my live videos and I will answer all the questions and comments. So you can still write a comment even in the replay or you can message me at my shop's Facebook, which is Grace on Broadway, and I'll, I'm happy to talk to you. But you can also go to www.bellsandbowtour.com or join our group and get tons of information in both places. So thank you for joining me on this Sunday afternoon. I hope you guys have a great time and go paint and dry brush. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.